chapter three. Uh, chapter three is going to be uh, about business transactions and the accounting equations. Here, where we start actually with the accounting uh, material. Okay, when we talk about accounting equation, that means this is where we start actually. The accounting equation, we're going to introduce it here in chapter three, and this we're going to keep using it. And it, it needs to be become a, a, a fact that we're going to be using and knowledge that we're going to be using all the whole time. So when we talk about chapter three, we have here three sections. Okay. So the three sections, the first one we're going to start with uh, this week also is going to be the property and the financial claim. So when you say property and financial claim, it needs to be explained uh, to you guys and um, we're going to be asking questions about it. What type of items are on? For example, I could ask you this question. I said, well, if I ask you what type of items are owned, you're going to say, well, you own a land, you own a house, you own a machine, you own a supply, you own pets, for example. Those are, 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 are something that you own. Now, if I ask you another question, is the owner of the, of, uh, is the owner is the only person who has a legal claim? So when we talk about legal claims now, I mean, you could own a house, for example, or you own a car. So it's in your name. But did you pay for the whole amount yourself, or you took a loan from a bank, or you took a loan from a friend, or you, or, or, or the company who you bought the house from, or the, or the car from, gave you, for example, a financial aid. So now here we go into details. Now we go to, into legal things. So in this case, we can say, you know what, we own it, but we don't have a total control over, over the legal claims of it. So that's what it means. Now we're going to definitely go into details when we get to it. Uh, second section we're going to be doing this week also, we're going to be talking about transactions that affect owner's investment cash and credit okay so now like i said this is all brand new for you guys so if i ask you a question in this section what types of classification systems are you are familiar with you get us well you say what what's that what does it mean so like for example here the classification system learned in biology and chemistry and geography will will be different like so every every student will have a different answer but when we have to, when we come to accounting it's going we're going to have our own answer the last section is going to be about transactions that affect revenue expense and withdrawal okay now owners owners i mean if you own a, a, a business when you're on uh, you could be withdrawing money from it okay you have you you could do that it's your business all right but do we consider it as a, a part of the business expense or it's a personal thing so here they're gonna explain to us that when you are an owner of a company and you withdraw the money for your personal use it's actually personal that's why it's personal and we cannot use it for taxes or for tax purposes as an expense so when we want to do that, we have to keep in mind uh, the difference between withdrawals and, ex and, and expenses. And that's what we usually we concentrate on in class. Revenue is more obvious. Revenue, we talk about you know, how much money uh, uh, the company made, uh, not as a net profit, but how much they sold. And then we'll take things from it out so we could find out the net profit later on, the gross profit. There's a lot of things that you're going to be learning. Okay. Now, just to give you a, a quick glance, this is what the chapter, uh, the property and the financial claims. That's what we said, section 3.1. This is the property. The property is, you know, the, is like the things that you own. Like exactly, we're gonna we're gonna switch names later on. We're gonna start using. We're gonna stop using the word property. We're gonna use the word assets later on. So we'll talk about it. We're gonna be mentioning something called the creditors. Okay. Um, and then uh, here's the assets. Remember, I mentioned the word assets. I can see it here in this one. So here they're showing you that your assets are, could be cash, could be office equipment, could be manufacturing equipment, could be building, could be lands, and anything that you own, right? This is what where we start with the with the accounting equation. The accounting equation starts like this one: the property that you own it came from two sources. Either your financial claim by you, 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 you came up with the money, 
part of it, let's say, and the other part came from a financial creditor. Okay, could, like I said, could be a bank, could be anybody else. So if this say uh, this property is ten ten thousand dollars, how it, how did you pay for it? You only came up with a three thousand. So you have to have a seven thousand comes from some some other source. So that's what we're gonna be doing in class, and we're gonna be explaining in class. Um, what else? Ah, yeah, we're gonna be switching names here. The property is gonna be switched to assets. Creditor financial claim is gonna be switched to liabilities. And owner financial claim, we're gonna just say owner equity. So it's not a big difference here, the naming, but here you can see the big difference. So creditor financial claim is going to switch to a, a word liability. A liability probably it's an easier word for you guys because you probably you could guess what a liability is. Uh, property and assets, yeah, maybe maybe a property is easier than assets, but this is what's going to be the, the accounting equations. It's we, the one we're going to be using is going to be saying assets equals liability plus owner equity. So that's the main thing. Like I said, uh, in class we'll do more details and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, guys. So. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.